A recent study published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters shows that images derived from dense array data can better depict the extent of magma reservoirs and better capture their physical properties compared to using data from backbone seismic networks alone. The results showed that seismic velocities were very slow near the top of the magma reservoir at a depth of 5 kilometers, 3 miles. This new image based on dense arrays is also highly consistent with recent findings that rely on the power of supercomputers and analyze previously collected seismic data. By recording three components, vertical, and horizontal. Recent studies using dense array data provide more insight into crustal structure and texture. Just as waves moving along a guitar string can move vertically or in and out, seismic waves can have different polarizations, the direction of particle movement, as they travel through the Earth. Dense dispersion data from 2020 found that horizontally polarized waves propagate about 20% faster than vertically polarized waves when passing through the top of a magma reservoir. This indicates the presence of localized magma storage areas that extend horizontally, called sills, and means that the magma is stored in a sheet-like form, rather than being distributed evenly within the rock matrix. After taking into account the textural structure, the melt fraction can be more accurately estimated at up to 28% in this magma chamber region. Although this figure is higher than previously estimated, it is still much lower than the melt fraction required to erupt as found in past Yellowstone eruptions. More importantly, Increased understanding of the Yellowstone system has guided us in promising directions in studying other volcanic systems on Earth. For example, applying the same method at other volcanoes could provide important insight into how magma is stored in dangerous and frequently active systems, information that could improve eruption forecasts. Despite the merits of the recent findings, Many important questions remain about Yellowstone's magmatic system. Is there a clear boundary between the magma reservoir and the surrounding material? What is the actual composition, magmatic fluid, gas, and melt in the reservoir? How do deep magmatic systems interact with shallow hydrothermal systems? Ongoing research aims to answer these questions using seismic waves generated by a Vaborsius truck during a 2020 experiment.